Hey guys, Bharadwaj with Fonarena.com here and yet another unboxing for you. This is a special gadget that we just received and this is the Netgear Push to TV. So this is just a simple accessory to wirelessly tra uh, transmit your display uh, from your laptops, tablet or smartphones to the TV. So that's exactly the reason we bought it because uh, you know transferring the display or mirroring it to this TV is like a, a, a cumbersome idea and even uh, a lot of uh, HDMI dongles struggle to do exactly the same so we chose a wireless technology and that is Intel Wide Eye or Miracast so it requires a laptop with Intel Wide Eye wireless display technology Intel's own so it supports two protocols that is Intel Wide Eye and Miracast um, also, you can certify smartphones like uh, Google Nexus 4, Sony Xperia TL, TL or others. Uh, all these smartphones have Miracast support inbuilt and you can use them with this uh, receiver. So this actually connects to the TV using the HDMI while it is a wireless uh, receiver of sorts. So the model number is PTV3000 just in case you want to note it. Over at the back you can see that uh, how the device actually works. So Miracast is a wireless standard uh, and of course Intel Wide Eye 2. So if your uh, laptop or smartphone has the technology supported by this, it will wirelessly transmit to this and this will in turn connect to the TV wirelessly mirroring everything on your phone. So this is uh, something different from uh, DLNA or perhaps an evolution. So uh, on the back here it says that it works with all Intel Wide Eye laptops and Ultrabooks works with Miracast uh, certified smartphones such as Google Nexus 4, Optimus G, Sony Xperia and others. Wireless display content in up to 1080p HD resolutions. Uh, flexible power option using a USB port on the TV. So it uses the USB port too for the power not just the HDMI. And uh, just some bunch of stuff here. So let's open it up and see how the box contents are actually there. Opening it up is actually a cumbersome process, but they are made easy here. So as simple as that, we have opened the box and here is the paper. Here is the power that can use uh, the USB. You can also use the USB port from the TV not just the uh, power adapter here this is the power adapter and this is the USB cable which is actually a mini USB that can connect to the back of the device which we are going to show you right away So here is the Netgear Push to TV. This is the device. As you can see here, Netgear brand on the top, a soft touch finish on the bottom. You have a LED on the right or on the bottom or whichever way you will prefer. There is a uh, button like thing here. And of course you have the mini USB port and the HDMI input. So that's the Netgear Push to TV. You also have uh, user guides and uh, manuals here which we are not going to bother with. But let's jump straight in the demo which uh, will show you a Miracast enabled smartphone that can transmit wirelessly to the Netgear Push to TV and to the TV. So let's dive into the demo. So this is the Netgear Push to TV guys. We have connected it to a HDMI monitor and connected it to a USB power supply so this goes to the AC power but if your TV has a USB port then you can directly connect this mini USB port to the TV uh, using the uh, USB port so that's pretty simple I just powered it off and I am powering it on again and as you can see from the front there is a blinking LED that is uh, stopped blinking when the power is turned on and over here on the right uh, you have the reset button. This is actually a simple Miracast and Intel Wide Eye uh, solution 
this uh, works with Wi-Fi Direct. Uh, so that's the prescribed uh, technology for Miracast. Uh, and Wi-Fi Direct does not require a Wi-Fi connection, but it does require a Wi-Fi chip to be powered on. So even when your phone connects to the Netgear thing, uh, it needs to have the Wi-Fi powered on, but it doesn't necessarily need to be connected to a network to access the Miracast. So this is the uh, TV part of the uh, Mir uh, Miracast dongle. So as you can see, you can also check for updates uh, uh, every uh, regularly by pressing the uh, this button, the reset button for 7 seconds and it will automatically update the firmware if there are any issues or Netgear wants to improve the functionality and whatnot. So yes, uh, that's the Netgear push to TV and now I'm going to demo you uh, using a compatible device for example the Nexus 4. The Nexus 4 is a device that comes with uh, Miracast uh, Wi-Fi display functionality and that you can access from the display settings under display settings you have the wireless display and you can turn this on here and uh, since we have already padded it it's appearing here but in, uh, we'll forget it and show you uh, what it looks like you can see the adapter name and the adapter ID over here on the monitor and now I'm turning this on and as you can see it instantly recognizes the push to TV dongle so I'm connecting to it once I'm connecting to it, you can see that the monitor says it is connecting to the wireless display device and uh, once it is connected, it is simply going to mirror the entire display onto the bigger screen and now you are seeing it right away. As you can see, the complete display is being mirrored. What actually happens with the Miracast technology is that the whole screen is combined into a video package. It is encoded and sent over wirelessly to this which instead relates to the bigger screen through HDMI. So this is actually just a video and uh, since it's a video you will definitely have some latency, uh, a little bit of lag that it's, it's not really instantaneous. That's the point I'm trying to make here. So we can use this for many uh, purposes. You can use this for presentations, you can use this for videos and you can use this for games but games don't really work that well because of the video encoding and lag issue but videos do work really well and that's what we are going to show you now we have got some four videos here and let's play one video to show you how it actually works so this is a YouTube video that we showed you You can take a look at the video here as you can see it plays pretty smooth and if you notice clearly if you notice clearly the audio is playing over from the monitor and not the phone so in that case yes the video as well as the audio is being encoded into a package and sent over wirelessly and that's why Miracast is awesome uh, you may have heard about the Chromecast Chromecast is also a similar kind of thing but it actually only gets the URL and the device itself downloads from the internet and uh, gets the video. It's not exactly similar to Miracast. Uh, the problem with Miracast is that everything gets mirrored instantaneously just like that so you can't really use your phone while you're watching a video or doing something else. That's the only disadvantage and of course battery usage is uh, completely dependent on the phone rather than uh, the uh, Chromecast dongle or the Netgear Wi-Fi thing. So yes, that's a quick demo of the Netgear push to TV using uh, Miracast on the Nexus 4. That's a wireless display functionality we are really glad to have. So let us know if you like this video and do hit the like button if you like it. And uh, if you have any questions, you can Put it in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.